Hello and welcome to the Barbados Rally Carnival podcast. We are here on the beach. Myself and Sarah have decided to get out of bed, have a nice slow morning and bring ourselves to the beach to talk about rallying, which we love to do, Sarah. Yeah, we certainly do. If I didn't before, I do now, right? <laughs> um, yeah, it's been an absolutely amazing week so far, hasn't it? We've had a long few days prepping and everything else. Um, and then going straight into the first leg of the carnival, which was um, our rally stage, a full day of rally stages, 10 stages. Um, yeah, shall we give them a little bit of info about what we've been doing? Well, as you say, we've got the first leg of the event done. So we're halfway through now and we've kind of had like a day or two now to kind of settle in and see actually what life in Barbados is like. And we're loving it, as you can see. <laughs> um, but yeah, like if we go back to the weekend, it's so hard to believe that we actually did what we did because you've never sat in a rally car before in terms of competition. I haven't sat in one in 12 years and I certainly have never dealt with heat like this. And it was absolutely insane, like absolutely incredible. The best crack I've ever had in a rally car, hands down. But like, I mean, the heat was mad, the excitement was mad, but like, talk us through what it was like from your perspective to get into a rally car and read pace notes for the first time, deal with time cards for the first time, and just deal with stages and shouting and looking down and looking around and everything. Yeah, there was definitely a lot for me to think about. Um, very familiar with being in a competition car, but in the passenger seat, that was a bit of a change. I wasn't sure how I would feel about that. Um, as a driver, I thought, is it going to be really difficult to give up that level of control of the car and sit in the passenger side? But straight away, I felt really, really comfortable with you, which was great. Um, that made my job easier to get on with concentrating on what I needed to learn because I didn't need to worry about you. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was an intense couple of days. I literally got off the plane, went to sleep, got up, learned how to read pace notes. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> and re write them. We actually had to go and do the route and, and rewrite some of um, the sort of baseline notes we were given to tweak it to what we wanted it to be. Um, and that was a really interesting process. I think if I was given just the perfect note, I don't think I'd have learnt as much. Whereas actually what we did was we wrecked quite a lot. Um, I then learnt how you like to understand the notes, which was really, really beneficial for me because I could just get a totally different understanding of... of how it works really and obviously every driver and co-driver team is going to be different um yeah i think i took to the notes pretty well i was quite pleased with that um thank you <laughs> um yeah i really really enjoyed that side of it it was really interesting um and the rest of it just came after that it was it was a lot to take in at first with me never ever doing it but yeah there was time cards to think about um road books and things like that but once we got the hang of it i think we were in, really in the swing and i mean everyone who was kind of at the service area was jumping in and, and helping offering advice and and really supporting the fact that it was our or my first time doing it completely um so yeah lots and lots of tips from everyone else and loads of help with time cards and explaining the best way to do things and stuff and using the trip meters on phones and stuff that was really really useful um yeah, yeah, really enjoyed that side of it. Um, hopefully, I managed to keep you right. You absolutely did keep me right. There's no doubt about that. Because, like, one of the things we talked about a lot was the fact that, like, I hadn't been in a car in so long. So, there were kind of, you know, both of us had apprehension in our bodies, we'll say. Um, we probably believed that we could do what we were supposed to be doing. But, you know, you've got that excitement and the nerves and stuff. And you're just, yeah, apprehension is probably the best word to describe it. Um, but I think because you were so chilled out and kind of, um, you know, I'm happy to just come in here and learn. We'll do our best. You know, that that definitely helped me an awful lot. And I think I kind of had that as well because we've been laughing about it all week. But, like, there's definitely a competitive edge that I forgot I had. <laughs> but <laughs> funnily enough, we just kind of kept reminding each other there's no problems here like we're here for the crack we are yeah, here for the fun <laughs> of rallying in the middle of the caribbean like this is barbados we have nothing to worry about we just have to have fun yeah. and that has been that has been like you know the theme throughout it has been the advice i've been given like frank kelly texted me before the event and we were talking a couple of weeks ago and he just kept reminding me he was like golden rule is fun like you have to enjoy it 
And I have to say, when I was rallying, I always took it so seriously, and probably far too seriously, maybe, when I look back on it. Um, but now, to come back and to have so much fun with it, like, it has just been so, so brilliant. But I'd say I was able to relax as much as I was because I knew you were definitely taking it... Um, you were taking it in your stride, but you were professional about it at the same time. Like, you weren't a complete, like... You know, you were so interested that I knew that you kind of... I didn't have to worry. Because as you know, <laughs> I don't know an awful lot about co-driving. I really don't. I get in and I drive mm -hmm. and that's it. And so I was literally no help to you. I, like, I knew kind of what I needed... What I could see and what I needed to hear, roughly. Um, but I was no good in terms of, like, time cards, like, road books, anything like that. Like, I literally... If it wasn't for the amazing people out here then we actually probably would have been <laughs> off the creek without a paddle <laughs> to a certain extent because we were you know you just couldn't rely on me but you did an excellent job and everybody around gave such good help and then I think as well the atmosphere around here too like there's just no there was there genuinely wasn't any pressure on us like Not you sure. couldn't have picked a better place to get into a rally car on that side yeah. for the first time like it was just so so perfect the big question though would you go back would you do it again if it's with you 100 <laughs> <laughs> percent. we had such a crack how could i not do that again oh. um yeah definitely i mean sort of mirroring what you're saying really i think actually i'll add to that you did make it a lot easier because i think we're very similar in a lot of ways so we just gelled really well straight away which was great because imagine just getting stuck in, in a car, hot car all day with somebody that you're just not getting on with <laughs> um so i was really really pleased about that it was great we just i think we've both got a natural competitiveness um we compete that's the whole point yeah. isn't it right and i think it's just getting that balance between the amount of competitiveness because you care yeah. a lot about yeah. what you're doing and just going with it a bit and having yeah. fun with it which some events are different to others as you know as we all know so yeah i think i think it did help a lot um even just like i say doing the pace notes it was great just you were giving me really simply this is what i need from yeah. you and that's like a brief for yeah, me that's yeah. for someone coming into it blind really um it made it really clear to me yeah. this is what she expects from me so i need to do x y and z and that just made it yeah. so much easier to go okay i can achieve that great i can do that for her i can change that i can do this yeah. and that, that a lot easier yeah. um i've been around rallying since i was about this big i think um with my dad uh, competing for a lot of years and always really enjoyed it always wanted to have a go um so yeah, this wasn't in the plans. Yeah. It was just something that's come up for us both. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, I think, the, I think I've got the bug. <laughs> I, think you do. I think I've got the bug. We'll see after this weekend, because I need to do a bit of driving as well, um, as well as sort of nav. But I really enjoyed being nav. Yeah, yeah really enjoyed it. So I'd love to do it again. Brilliant. Like, it's bizarre how, well, it's not bizarre because it is in your blood, but like it was so natural to you. It wasn't something that seemed to take it out of you in any way or to stress you in any way. Like, um, obviously there were things like that were kind of like unnerving at the start. Like when yeah. you, when we go back to that first day that we sat in the car together, um, and we saw the track, um, or we were brought to the road stage, like all of those things were very unnerving. And even for me, and I've been around rallying, like in the seat that I sat in, so to be there and kind of, you know, just seeing it all and actually seeing it through your eyes as well has been incredible. And it has kind of, it's sort of, I was always so aware of how much work that a, a co-driver does. And honestly, like I said it to you, like I do about 10% of the work, everything else is the co-driver. Like, um, But it just really brought it home how much a co-driver has to be thinking at all times. Like there's no break. I get to br have a break whenever I'm not driving, but like... Yeah everything else comes down to the co-driver and it's mad like you probably you know unless you're in a car you never understand that really um yeah. and it's just it's a huge thing so it'll be so exciting to see you back out in a rally car again like on the like i i, I would say we'll see you dip in and out of both sides because i think you definitely love the stage as well yeah, I can't wait for the weekend, to be honest. It's going to be great just to get behind the wheel, although I'm not looking forward to the heat again. But a few days off <laughs> has brought us back to a normal temperature. Our thermostats were <laughs> gone. 
Um, yeah, it's it's going to be really interesting. I think, um, yeah, going into it completely blind has been really, really fun as well as having its challenges. Yeah, like you said, the first the first sort of day or two where we were just getting our our feet wet with everything was just there was a little bit of stress there of course I'm, I'm I've got questions I'm wanting to understand yeah. how everything works um, and not knowing fully what to expect mm -hmm. where do I give my time cards what happens yeah. here what, what do I do at this point how much time am I adding on to this part like to work things out and that that was a little bit oh god how am I gonna get this right yeah. I didn't want to get kind of in a flap about it and stress about it because that's not going to help you um, so I just really tried to be patient about it and yeah. <laughs> just stay chill um, and I think you can see the level of stress at any motorsport event yeah. especially from a driver's perspective because you're feeling pressure and mm -hmm. and everything else for competition I kind of like stepping into it from the passenger seat actually yeah. because I could sort of take a step back and not worry about can I drive it right? Can I drive it fast? Mm -hmm. So that was your problem on yeah. that day. Um, and just s stepping out in that way and just seeing what everyone else was doing at the service um, area was really good because, I mean, you can just see <laughs> we're in Barbados. Yeah. It is so chilled. Yeah. Um, and that actually really brought me back down as well. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was really good. Amazing, amazing, and like you mentioned, the service area, like and it was, it's the coolest place I've ever been for a service area because there was like an awning put out or an easy up type thing, yeah. and then it was literally just a case of people sitting under that for shade and sitting around. There was music playing. One of the guys, um, Woody, absolute hero of Barbados, uh, we love Woody. He didn't finish the event because something happened with the car, and he just took off the suit and brought the cooler out and the rum was brought out immediately like and it was just the coolest thing we've ever seen there was there was nobody crossed there was nobody it was just good just crack like <laughs> exactly yeah. um but the thing the reason that i'm kind of the reason that i'm spending loads of time talking about um look at this island life get the boat <laughs> into the water and away you go um but one of the reasons i really want to talk about like how you were able to slot into the navigator seat so much is because there's a lot of people that I've been speaking to over the last few weeks and months whenever we've mentioned the Barbados Rally Carnival. And this is a holiday. This is like a, an adventure, uh, you know, an event that is not, yes, you get to drive cars fast, but also there's so much crack involved in it as well. And I think there could be a lot of like friend teams or husband and wives teams or, you know, people that have had cars for years that haven't been out. Like I haven't been out in 12 years. You've never sat in the, passenger seat before do you know there's there's definitely like this place suits everybody if you wanted to come out with your partner if you wanted to come out with your child that is of an age to have some sort of you know comp competition license you can come here and you don't have to be worried about I've never read a pace note I've never like some of the people that we were with at the weekend weren't using pace notes I need them so I was using them but like you don't have to and the time cards, sure, I hadn't a clue. We did our best. You did a great job and really got onto them. But eventually, like, you know, it, you made sense of them. At the start, we just handed them over yeah. and everybody was so helpful. You know, so you don't have to be a seasoned pro to come out here at all, which I think is the major, major importance. Like, you know, um, but that was the rally. So that yeah. was the stage as rally. Um, and now we've had a week, or we've had a few days. We're here, I'm here about a week. You're here maybe about five days or so. Um, and we kind of have acclimatized. Well, I'll never get used to this heat, but like <laughs> the enjoyment that we have had over the last couple of days, just kind of getting used to the island and seeing things and doing things like yesterday morning, we were drinking rum before 12 o'clock because we were on a rum <laughs> tasting. Um, and like, we've just, we've just seen so much and done so much because the island is easy. Like life is easy here. Um, but we also, we are, I can't even remember what day it is. It is Wednesday, yeah. We, so it's Wednesday. <laughs> um, so we've only got a few days left for to be back in the competition mindset yeah. again. Um, which, to be fair, it's not really intense over here. You know, it's just, it's all about the fun. But like, we do have to get in a rally car again um, and actually go around the track fast. So like, how are you feeling about that? Because you're getting to do the thing that you do best as well, which is driving. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm just so excited. I feel I feel much more chilled now. We've got the first leg out of the way. 
um, and I know what to expect from the heat in the car. And actually, I think the rally is probably going to be the hardest day heat-wise because we really didn't get any respite from that because it was staged, staged, staged. So that was quite hot. Um, whereas the rally cross and rally sprint, there's going to be a little bit more respite in between. So that's going to be a bit easier. So from here, it's just plain sailing, isn't it? <laughs> Um, but yeah, really looking forward to getting um, behind the wheel. It looked like we had, we had an absolute blast in the car. It looked so fun to drive. Um, it didn't look, you know, stressful or, or hard work as such. It was just a case of you getting confidence with it and, and getting that hydro going and everything else. So I can't wait to have a go. Um, and it'll be really, really great for me to take it out on basically gravel, loose surface stuff as well, because I'm, I'm really used to tarmac. Um, so that'll be a, a challenge in itself, just getting used to that. But I just can't wait. I just think it's going to be great. The, the vibe is always good. Everyone's smiling. There's just nothing's a nothing is a trouble for anyone. Um, it is just yeah beyond chilled, and I just can't wait for that sort of event because it can be a bit stressful at home doing circuit racing. Um, re really, it's my own my own issue because I'm the one who's stressing out we and yeah we do you work yourself up and you get yourself in a bit of a like sort of nervous state before you go out and you anticipate what's going to happen and, and putting a bit of pressure on yourself to do better yeah. um, etc but it's going to be interesting as well because I'm used to being on a grid of like I don't know 12 to yeah. 18 cars depending on the event so this is potentially going to be rally sprint style where you're going to have a lot less than that yeah. so that's going to be interesting as well to yeah. see how I get on feeling like I'm out there on my own maybe I know. <laughs> and then the funny thing about that is you're so comfortable with that whereas like last night we were talking about it and I'm actually so on edge about that like I am like it blows my mind that there are going to be people beside me on a track like because I just it's so foreign to me um but again it's just the attitude out here or the atmosphere or the vibe that's around the whole place it's just like do you know what be grand yeah. we'll get through it it'll be good fun there'll be rum at the end of it that's all we care about <laughs> <laughs> and like even that sarah like the last evening whenever we finished you know we literally know that the hardest part of finishing was actually getting our race suits off because they were literally oh. glued to us at that point it was so hard to get them off <laughs> but once we actually managed to do that you know we were at the clubhouse like and it was just it was on the track the moon was rising the songs that were playing the music was the playing was like the rum was out there were burgers on like and it was just everybody was laughing and joking and it was so much crack like it really really was the best crack and like when i think about the weekend so on saturday we've got the rally sprint and then on sunday we've got the rally cross yeah. and like that's what we're going to be doing yeah. on both of those evenings like which is so yeah. so good but again it's not just those events and then the party and kind of you know you're left on your own the whole time like we have stuff on every every day kind of the first two days we were fine there monday tuesday but like everybody is so hospitable here like it's like the irish are known for their hospitality and their warm welcome like we have a lot to learn from <laughs> barbados like because it's just been insane like they've been so good to us they just they rock up with like food rum plants you know and like tomorrow is independence day here and there's a party on the beach and we've been invited. I think yesterday there was some sort of um, a concert celebration for the same thing and we were invited. Um, you know, like everybody's so, like we met our, our wonderful drone guy, um, Drew, on Saturday, no, Friday for the first time. And he's inviting us places like, you know, it's just, it's the best place ever. And we've got a bit more fun um, as well as rallying and, and driving fast and you know tracks to be thinking about which is mad you know yeah. um it's so so i don't know it's just it's so hard to describe until you're here and the one thing that you and i have talked about many times is like the apprehension of coming somewhere like i haven't competed in so long you haven't competed anywhere like this and um, you hadn't been in a rally car we had never met do you know that kind of way so like there was definitely we had our own wee worries about coming here um we obviously said yes in a heartbeat we didn't even have to think about it because this is so special but you know there were things that we were kind of like oh my god what about this and what about that and i have to say we've spoken about it many times but like whatever your worries are about coming out here don't worry because every single thing 
was under control when we got here. You know, it's so hard to picture that everything's going to be okay when you're that far away from home. Like, what about your car? What about the transport? What about, what do the road books look like? How are we going to know where to go? Like, when you get here, you realise that everything is under control, which was such a nice settling feeling for me anyway. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I think, like you say, I'll, I'll second that. There was definitely some apprehension. You're travelling to the other side of the world to do an event, and there's just so many questions. Um, honestly, the the welcome has just been amazing. I think we probably all feel like we've just walked into <laughs> our friend's house. <laughs> we've just been really welcomed, and, and there's so many plans and invitations, and we're just really included in everything. And it, yeah, massive warm welcome, which has made it really lovely for us. Um, but yeah, like you say, we, we've we've turned up with lots of questions, um, as is natural, and um, everything's everything's taken care of. Um, we didn't need to worry, <laughs> really. Um, yeah, everything's taken care of. Everything is just no worries, relaxed, um, and yeah, we're just catered for in, in every way, really. Um, socially and event wise it's all one thing it's it's not um, that we're then left yeah. after the event yeah. we're, we're part of of this sort of group yeah. and and it's been yeah great we've had some I, th I was going to use the word experience I think actually that that is it everyone here has made this an experience it's not just about oh there's a day a day rallying and then yeah. that's done the whole thing has been an experience and they've made it that like yeah. like that for us so 100%. we're just yeah grateful and, and very privileged I think yeah. to be here absolutely and I mean one of the words that we kept using on Saturday actually was adventure and it's never a word kind of it's not a word I like because I would actually be kind of a I would like to be in control a lot of the time so <laughs> like that doesn't necessarily lead to adventure and being spontaneous but on Thursday night, whenever we arrived first, we were sitting um, in just the most beautiful set, and it was so surreal. Um, we, like, again, we got off the plane, Greg Cozier, like, all hail Greg, but, like, he literally, <laughs> just such a cool dude, has everything under control, collected us from the airport, got us to our houses. Um, we arrived at the houses, we got sorted for our hire car, and then straight down to, like, Surfside, which is a wee bar, what, about... 800 meters from our house um, and it was so surreal because it was literally this setting it's only up the road so it was this setting and it was like rum and soda straight away and we were just sitting chatting about rallying all night and then like at one stage I can't even remember what rally he was talking about but he spoke about some rally and he just kept saying now that was an adventure it was such an adventure and I was like it blew my mind because I was a wee bit like rallying as an adventure do we not know exactly what we're supposed to be doing at all times like we know where we should be because everything's timed everything's mapped and I just started thinking about it in a completely yeah. different way and it was a word that just stuck with me and then on Saturday whenever we had left for close to the racetrack and we were on our way to the stage or maybe we were on our way back from that stage but we were driving down a hill the Caribbean was in front of us and I was just like Jesus Sarah like this is an adventure like we live in parts of the world that are freezing at this time mm -hmm. of the year I ha like we're sitting here now roasted like so <laughs> uncomfortably hot but like the breeze is coming in we're in a rally car and there's the Caribbean in front of us like we were like this is mental this is the best thing we've ever done but such an adventure and like to experience something like this is like, it's magic like there's no point yeah. there's no point saying anything else like it, it is magic and I think from my perspective I would be worried about getting into the car at home again. I thought about doing a rally a couple of weeks ago. In the end I didn't have time to think about it, I didn't have time to prepare it properly and even that in itself just goes to show you how seriously I think about it at home. Yet I can come over here and honestly this is exactly what I wanted it to be. This is exactly what I would like rallying to be for me from now on. Just crack, not worried about anything. If a competitive edge jumps out, put it back in his box because it's not needed. It's all about fun. Like, and that's for me, like you mentioned experience. We talk about adventure and that's it. Like that is what the Barbados Rally Carnival is all about. You're not concerned about results, anything. We did, I don't even think, we didn't change tires once. I think we put fuel in the car. <laughs> Sean is the best guy Sean's ever. Funny. He is like just he's so on the ball. You don't even have to speak to him whenever you come into service and everything's just so chill. Like you just 
you just drive fast and enjoy it like that's it yeah definitely it's just a case of do what you enjoy and do what you do best um i think magic probably is, is a good word that moment i think we were going to the road stage i think i can't yeah. it, there was that many now i can't remember yeah we were doing one of the transits so we, we had you know um windows down trying to get a bit of breeze in the car and it was it was at the point of the afternoon where it was really really hot um really really challenging with the heat um and it was definitely at, at the hardest point of the day i think oh thank you very much um we're on the <laughs> I think, on the island. I think at this point we're about 78% <laughs> rum <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> internally. Um, yeah, we were just, we were at that hardest point of the day where it's really hot and you're getting tired, fatigue starting to set in a little bit. And it's at that point where you kind of go, oh, I've maybe had enough now. And then we drove down that hill and we both just sort of looked at each other and went, this is, Look at that. this <laughs> is, this yeah. is epic. Like, yeah. look where we are look at what we're doing driving past you know all the locals houses they're all stood out waving and that's that's lovely to yeah. see as well um because they they really embrace it yeah. you've got um kids adults everyone's out there waving at the cars and video and you're going past and just coming down the hill and seeing the sea and the view um and all the palm trees and everything was just i think that that in itself just kept us going for like the last two stages um through that that hottest point we were just like man this is yeah. this, this is epic yeah. yeah people don't get to do this yeah. um look how lucky we are kind of thing so we were yeah just absolutely loving it um and there's nothing like that feeling mm -hmm. any any event is awesome yeah. but just to come here and be able to experience it somewhere like this yeah. it really is an adventure it's yeah, yeah worthwhile Brilliant. and that's the thing that is the thing the beautiful thing about this whole experience for us is that you can experience it we didn't realize that until we came here um but this is when we are here now we are here to like to genuinely advocate for the fact that you can experience this like it's not that expensive to get here it's it's so cheap when you're here like you can like this this whole island is like everywhere you can find expensive places but like yeah. it's actually so cheap to kind of live um and so that's that's the thing about this whole trip and this whole revival in 2023 is that in 24 like if any of this excites you or you know intrigues you in any way get in touch ask the questions or just book <laughs> book the boat like yeah. because it's as we say it's not that expensive in comparison to the amount of travel and and how you, like get in your car here and then you don't really need like when you're here unless you have a car that needs to be looked at every two seconds like you really don't need a big service crew or anything um you don't need to be worrying about tires and fuel a lot of that stuff can be kind of sorted out here bring a few spares bring a few tools that can all be put into the car on the boat but like this can act like this time next year there can be dozens and dozens of uk irish yeah. crews over here like and the crack will be even bigger and better if there's more of us yeah. like do you know what i mean but it's very very doable this is not it's magic when you're here but it's actually it's so doable to be here yeah. it's this is for anybody it's like easy. anybody it's genuinely so easy like and it's well worth just biting the bullet and doing it because once the car is booked on like once you've got your paperwork done this is it like yeah. we're, we're not even joking like this is it this is what you do when you're here or else you're in a rally car yeah yeah absolutely i think that was something that we were sort of thinking about at the beginning was you know how easy is this to do is it going to be complicated is it going to be difficult to get the cars no honestly yeah. just you, you book the cars on the boat yeah there's a bit of paperwork to sort that then it's done and then it's up to you stay where you want book somewhere um hotel like if you want and then you've got everything covered or we've got a, a house share which is worked great for us because yeah. we can self-cater and stuff and not that we're in it much no. we're just we're <laughs> in it to sleep um the rest of the time yeah like you say we're in a we're in a rally car or we're out experiencing the island and there's so much to see even if your thing is just sitting in the shade on the beach yeah. a bit like us because we're not yeah. built for this sort of not sunshine 
um, or you know there's stuff to see and everything is within like an hour because it's an island it's amazing so you can see so much if that's your bag as well um, we went and did a little a little more rum tasting in case we hadn't done enough uh, yesterday we did some official rum tasting so we were allowed to drink in the AM um, <laughs> no judgment um well if you think about it it's four hours ahead at home yeah, in the am like so our actually bodies, our bodies believe that it's so much later than what it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah see it's later than yeah, it's yeah. later than it is um but i mean it, it's amazing you can just sit and watch people out on the water doing some cool stuff i think i prefer tires and tarmac and gravel myself but each to their own um yeah there's just so much to do if you, if that's chilling and catching up on sleep go for it if it's out doing adventure stuff go for it um yeah just magic can't believe we're here mate that's it cannot believe we're here like it's christmas in a few weeks do you know what i mean I keep forgetting. yeah i keep yeah, forgetting yeah. it's christmas nearly at home <laughs> it really like this has been like we're only halfway through the adventure at this point but it has been like if i had to go home in the morning i would go home very happy yeah. it has been the best fun i've ever had anywhere near rally car and like i loved my time rallying when i was younger i really did but like now that i know what fun is and to like just be laughing and not really be taking it that seriously this is like just this is just the best experience i've ever had so on that note like i think we're gonna go and enjoy the island life a wee bit more yeah um we will be keeping you up to date and we will let you know how things go this weekend um if you've any questions get in touch either with myself or sarah or anybody like Greg Hosier or the rally um, page. So it's Barbados Rally Carnival on Facebook. Um, everything is quite chill here, so they might not respond as quickly as we're used to at home, but the questions will be answered. Like, um, And we're not talking about for this year. Make your plans, start planning to get here for next year. Like, um, It's just, the, honestly, it's the best thing I've ever done. It's the best yes I've ever said. So um, from that perspective, any questions come straight to us we'll do what we can to to get them answered and other than that um just stay tuned with us and thanks so much for all the support uh we've yeah. had so much support over the last we couple have. of days um between kind of twitter and facebook and stuff like that um it's just it's, it's been great like so uh we'll do our best to keep you up to date and just from now for now it's just a wee thank you yeah, I second that. I think we need a little cheers, cheers. to Barbados cheers. and the Rally Carnival. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the support from back home. It's been really great. We've had a few a few questions we've answered and um, lots of good luck messages and, and stuff. We've managed to get live on a couple of stages on the rally, which was brilliant. Um, I didn't have the best camera set up, but we made it work. And uh, at least we gave people a little bit of live what we were doing. So that's been really great. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Any questions, fire them over and just stay tuned and we'll put out a lot more content about what we get up to this weekend. Bye.